Hello, welcome to the Game Theory online class. My name is Yoav Shoham. I'm a professor in computer science here at Stanford University, and I'll be teaching it jointly with my colleague, Matt Jackson, from the Economic Department. Let's uh, start by first saying a word about the subject matter, what the class is about, and uh, perhaps starting with what the class is not about, or not only about. When we think about games, we often think in terms of uh, sports, games, uh, soccer, and uh, what have you. We also think about things like uh, chess and, uh, and poker, and uh, we think also about online games and video games. These certainly are included in the space of games, of game theory, but we also, and sometimes much more, think about quote-unquote serious games what uh, causes countries to go to war with one another, what, uh, uh, what uh, is the background for corporations uh, entering into commercial agreements, how do uh, you decide to uh, bid in an eBay auction, uh, even how animals uh, interact with one, with one another, in general, whenever you have independent agents, multiple agents, that have individual information and individual motivations, the interaction between them is the subject matter for game theory. The material is mathematical. It's not difficult mathematics, but you need to know what a matrix is. You need to remember basic calculus and basic probability theory. So this is what the course is about. And let me say a few words about how the course will be structured. We uh, will have uh, several weeks, and during the course of the weeks, we'll do the following. Each week, we will have lectures uh, that will be in the form of videos broken up into chunks ranging in length from uh, maybe eight or so minutes to probably at most 15 minutes. And uh, inside the videos, we will often have some quizzes, interactive quizzes embedded. These are simple questions that are really geared to uh, making sure that you understand the basic definitions. At the end of the week, we will have a weekly quiz consisting of really uh, another collection of similar simple questions just by way of review. We will also have what we call the uh, Game Theory Lab, and these, this will be an opportunity for you to actually play interactively some of these games that we will be describing to get a visceral feel for those. And uh, yeah, after you play, play those, we'll be able to collect the results and give you some statistics about uh, what transpired. Finally, every week, we will have a screen side chat, as we call it. This is an opportunity for Matt and me to uh, look back at what happened during the week, we hope that our lecture will be clear, the material uh, will be bug-free, but it's possible that maybe we won't be as clear or as error-free as we'd like to be, and this will be an opportunity to correct it. We'll also see some of the interaction that took place in the discussion forums, and I'll speak about those uh, shortly, and it'll be an opportunity to uh, refer to, to what happened there. The material you'll have available will consist of these video lectures. The lectures refer to uh, some slides, and we will make these slides also available for you to download. And finally, um, there is a booklet that covers um, really all the material and a little more than we'll cover in this uh, course, and uh, we've made arrangements with the publishers to uh, make it available for you for uh, relatively inexpensive download. Uh, this is not something that you have to do to uh, su succeed in the class, but you might uh, want to avail yourself of it as well. So what, what is your role in this class? Uh, besides watching the videos and answering the quizzes and participating in the lab games, there will be problem sets and, exam and a final exam. It's only the problem set and the final exam that will count towards your uh, grade in this class. The problem sets will consist of four uh, individual problem sets, and together they will count for 70% of your grade, and the final exam will uh, 
account for th the remaining 30 percent. Neither the quizzes nor the lab exercises count towards the grade, although we really uh, encourage you to do those because it will really help you understand the material. When you do the problem sets, as well as the exam, you'll be able to answer each question multiple times, but it is only the first answer that you give that will count towards uh, the grade. Those of you who take the uh, problem sets and the exam and get a cumulative score of at least 70 will get a certificate of uh, completion. And those who get over 90% will get the added designation of having completed with distinction. I, we have gotten some questions about whether this class and the grade count towards any Stanford uh, degree you might uh, get, and the answer is uh, definitely no. A word about the spirit of the class and how we expect everybody to conduct themselves. We definitely encourage you to collaborate, and we'll say more about this in a moment, but uh, while you can discuss problem sets and consult with each other, we really expect you to uh, do the problem sets and the exams on your own. Please don't post answers online, whether on this discussion forum or anywhere on the internet, uh, and we really appreciate your cooperation here. So I mentioned uh, that we really encourage you to interact with each other, and that's really a, a key component of this class. There is a very large number of you, tens of thousands, and there's just that much that we will be able to personally uh, interact with you and give you feedback. We will certainly attempt. But a key component is how you as a community will support each other. So first of all, there are discussion forums. We strongly encourage you to post questions, to post answers. Um, if, God forbid, there should be any unclarity or a bug in our uh, lectures, we are, are encouraged to uh, point those out as well as correct them. Anything you choose to do here is a service of the community and we really encourage you to, to do that and we will find a way to acknowledge those who contribute the most to the uh, community. One particular thing that we strongly encourage you to do is to form study groups. Uh, there is a special forum for that and we encourage you to use that forum to create the study group. The way you actually conduct the study group is up to you. One thing that we find very useful is to conduct them uh, as Google Hangouts where you have real-time interactive video uh, discussion. When sometimes perhaps technology doesn't allow it, you can resort to other means, you can use email and whatever uh, is appropriate for the situation. And that is it. This is the, uh, what the class is about. This is how the class will uh, conduct itself. Please do go online, look carefully at the syllabus, at the timetable, and with that, let's get started.